knowing that this building may, I think, I think personally, I think it is a historic building. But even that even if it may be historic, I think we have the we have the the ability to, to you know make sure that it doesn't, doesn't get destroyed. I want to make a motion to oppose this project and also recommend um, to the board to create a community impact statement and uh, and uh, support of the HPOZ and uh, so that they, the the city council knows that the community. If the little HPLZ, you know, um, has support of each other and, and of the different council as well. Yeah, I know. If I don't second it, the motion dies. But again, like I said, I mean, because of the fact that there was an election process and we didn't get a chance to speak to him, but only once, I think that to me personally, I think it's a little unfair for this gentleman to come here and only hear this room. I mean, I personally, I, I, and he's also a stakeholder. It's his home. But he doesn't live there. He doesn't live there. He doesn't live there. That's the, that's the point. He rents out the units, the, the unit. I, I'm sorry, I thought it was two that's houses. He was blown away. It's only one. <laughs> this gentleman has got the nicest house he wants to be in. Uh, it's just one unit. Uh, yeah, and that's rented out to this family. We only have a few minutes to try to, um, we have 10 minutes actually to try to do it. So if you don't mind, you might. Oh, it's, it's just a quick question. You keep saying that you need more information. I thought the purpose of this meeting was to find out what the what the will of the community is. And you've got the community sitting right here. I don't hear a single person that is for the, pro the project. Every single person that's spoken has been against it. If we took a show of hands, I don't think that we'd have anybody proposing this or, or for this project. This is the will as Mr. As, is it as far as that? As far as, as far as as he suggested, we, the community, have spoken. We don't want this project to go through. The information that you need to wait on is only about the historical significance. Yes, it is a contributor or somebody in City Hall says no it's not. If you drive by that home and look at it, I will tell you, it is a contributing home. There are three craftsmen in a row. It's a beautiful home. And, and the idea that one person can, I, and, and I understand being a homeowner, because my home is going to be in the same situation. It's going to be restricted, because it's a 100-year-old home. But we have spoken. There isn't anybody that's for it. I think you must make a decision to, to go ahead, second the motion, and make your recommendation that the community does not want this project to go through. Thank you. I appreciate your comment. Um, I need to bring you back to the committee, though. I'm sorry. several times and he's been to the board numerous times when we were through the election process so it is a time crunch for him as well. If Mr. Law commits to get an extension, it just makes it fair to be able to do more outreach, gather more commission in regards to the historical, where the councilmen stand on this particular property and be able to have another meeting and again bring everyone together. The main concern is if you're so opposed to it then I really encourage you to go to the hearing unless Mr. Law cancels it to go to the hearing and express your concerns. There are next general board meetings, even until the first week of August. We cannot take the position yet. We can only recommend it to the board. And the board may decide it's not insufficient information. It'll just get tabled right back to the meeting. Yeah. So for the sake of time and uh, Rob, the product of our committee is with the best, my suggestion it would be to commit to the extension Let's be aggressive on doing more outreach. If we have to fill up the room with so lot with opposition, you've heard them make their comments about your project, take them in consideration, and then look into the historical issue. That is my suggestion. Um, that would be my suggestion. So would you like to make a motion? 
I motion that we uh, ask Mr. David Lau, correct, to uh, it, uh, reach out to whoever you have to in the hearing uh, personnel and let them know that you want an extension so that we can gather more outreach, more information, and to give the opportunity for the um, for the historical uh, status of the property to be uh, established. Mr. Lau, are you Will you consider any extension of the property? No, I need to think about this. So I'm sorry? I would consider it, but I, I need to, I cannot give you an answer right now. So we can wait. We, yeah, we don't have, um, <coughs> we don't have a lot of time. Yeah, no. Madam yeah. Chair? Yes, sir. Your motion uh, is not within the purview of your authority. Yeah. Exactly. Because you cannot determine the historical status of this building within a week or a month or even six months or a year. That's not within your purpose. So for you to say that your motion is to seek more information on outreach of the community, that's within your purpose. You can say that. But do you say that you're looking to establish a historical status of this building, not within your purpose? No, I'm saying we would wait for him and the- He can't establish it either. He can only establish it, but she does inform if I understood this correctly, that she's requesting me to do a extension or a cancellation for, what his purpose? Hearing, for his hearing. For what for purpose? For the purpose to gather more information and do more outreach and look into the historical uh, motions that were passed and been reviewed by the council. But again, it, I would need your commitment to know that you are going to request that extension or we have to take a position today. I, I, I can't, we have to make a recommendation today. To <coughs> We're only a week away. It would be unfair to have another special meeting for this issue just to hear what you have to so, say. Yeah. From, from my point of view, I'm, I'm sure you, one of you can have a pretty good sense of where this is going and what additional hours to do. So, I mean, <laughs> exactly. There's no point for me to, to have an extension. If I wanted to go forward, I'm not sure I wanted to go forward with the project. Okay, if I do, there's no point of getting an extension so, so that you can have more people and then have I have to spend more time here and and just uh, you know I do appreciate your time and the concerns of this art I have to say. So. Do I have a commitment, Mr. No. no. Okay. You can make a motion on every year, okay? And you merely to take it to commission saying that you guys took that position. Okay? So you can't bring the you can't bring any any of your decisions to the commission. But the community can. So it's a win win situation for the community. So if you guys, if whatever you guys decide that happens. Okay, so we have a commitment. So I'll suggest that I'm clear and I understand. I have to make another extension. Let's extend it until 8 o'clock or maybe because it's 7.45 now. So 8 o'clock um, extension. So right now you will not commit to extend mm -hmm. your open So we have to take a position in your town. We, we have to make a recommendation. So I'm going to bring this back to the committee. Um, okay. I stand in a report to hold this project because uh, of concerns of the swing as far as craftsmen and uh, concerns that uh, the neighbors have brought. Um, and I recommend to the, to the committee um, or the public board and, and ask for a community impact statement in support of the HPLC. That's uh,
But there was Barth earlier mentioned that his property, because of the historical designation, he is limited what he could do in terms of any type of work on his property. Am I correct on that? That's correct. Okay. I've had to hire architects and engineers for me to do anything. Likewise, yeah, then you got to go to the historical commission. So in a sense, your original investment has been impacted by an act of government in terms of what you can do. If you wanted to make an improvement on it, you have to do something. I accepted that when I bought the house. But it was already designated. Okay. All right. I just want to make this clear. But what's happening here is that in terms of the person here presenting his project today, that determination has not been made. I think here, anybody will recognize that your home is one of the biggest investments you make in your life, and you would not like any sort of governmental entity impacting your investment. Likewise, any recommendation here, vis-a-vis that there's still a final resolution still in the work, but it could go in another direction. We all know politics here in this town. Things could change in the snap of a finger. A rough decision here could adversely impact a person's right to work with their property. I think the best thing here is to take a step back and let the planning commission and let the council office take the lead in getting these fluid situations that are in the works rectified. This project right here, from what I'm saying anyway, probably is not going to go forward in this incarnation anyway, but let's give the respect to the property owner to let the governmental entities work through the process and then come back and then go forward. The worst thing we can do is to adversely impact a person's right to do what they wish with their property, pending resolution of outstanding issues that are determining what you can do with this property by governmental entities involved. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. I'd like to point out that we are all here as members of the community, and as members of the community, whether we're property owners or renters, we have a responsibility to each other to maintain a community. So although one person may be a property owner and he may have a right to do things to his property, that person is responsible to the rest of us, to the entire community, about what he does. A person who owns a property, whether it's actually been deemed and recognized as historic officially, or whether we all can acknowledge that an 89-year-old structure is a historic structure and important to our community, that person who holds that property is not just a property owner. He is also carrying the responsibility of El Chino's history, our community's history, the people who owned that home prior, the people who built that home, the community where the home was built. All of that is that property owner's responsibility. It's not just that he has the right to build something here or tear something down, but what is he doing on behalf of our community, and what right does he have to do that with our community's history in his hands? That's something to consider. It's not just a personal right now, it's a community right. Thank you. Any other public comment? I just want to make a distinction regarding the whole public process and everything. And in fact, this allows presentation and everything, what he wants to do. And to the gentleman, sorry, I missed your name. This is part of the process. The Neighborhood Council, you all in the neighborhood have discussed with me our problems with it. This construction impacts us as well. This is property, it's our streets, it's our parking, it's our traffic, it's our pedestrian walkways, it's what affects the people, the kids who walk to and from school to the bus stop right in front of this property. It affects us all. And yes, you mentioned that it has to go through the process. Part of the process is discussed in the Neighborhood Council why we're opposed to it. This recommendation is not binding. We've already determined that. But it is a voice of the people, explains where we're coming from, and is one aspect of what will be determined by whether Mr. Lau's project goes on. And I would say this is exactly what she's been doing, saying, no, this is not what the community wants. I appreciate it. Thank you. Any other public comments? Okay. Let's take a vote on Mr. Garcia's motion. Claudia, do you mind repeating your motion? My motion is to oppose the project. I'm sorry, she needs to write it. I got it. Do you want to write it? Do you have it yet? I have it. Can you read it back to me? Okay. You're opposing the project and the requesting for the general board to create a community impact statement in support of the HPLC. HPLC. Yes. Yes. And you second that? I second that. So we'll take a vote. So for the motion set forth, are you for the motion? Yes. Yes. So I'm going to say neutral to the motion. Thank you. 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 Th
2-0-1. Motion passes, Mr. Love. So we will again request everyone to go to the hearing on the 22nd. 24th. 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 I'll email it to you. I'll email it. Um, to express your concerns, if you can't, you have the hearing officer's information on that hearing notice. Email them, call them, let them know your position on how you feel about the project. I will see you there um, after I have the What I do ask is for everyone to please put in your email address. So if so you can please put your email address and your information so we can email you and keep you up to date on what's going on when we go to hearing. If Mr. Lau does extend it, we'll also email you and inform you. So I really encourage you to please sign in. And I appreciate you taking your time this evening to be here with us. So I will call uh, any director announcements on item number four. Thank you.